Okay, in this video, you will be introduced to enzyme inhibition and what are the types of inhibition. So let's define first what are inhibitors. Inhibitors are compounds that decrease enzymes' activities. So it can be irreversible inhibitors or reversible in inhibitors. So what does the invisible inhibitors do? So if uh, the irreversible inhibitors um, will react with enzyme and that inhibitor molecule can permanently shut off one enzyme molecule. So they are very powerful toxins but sometimes this inhibitor, this type of irreversible inhibitor can be used as drugs. Um, what is irreversible inhibitor? Irreversible inhibitor um, it can dissociate from the enzyme. Um, often, they um, they are um, the structure is analogs of substrates or products. It's it's um, analogs means it's simply the same as the substrates or products, and it is also usually used um, as drugs to just to slow down a specific enzyme. The reversible inhibitor can bind to free enzyme and to prevent the binding of further substrate. The enzyme substrate complex um, can prevent the reaction. So different types of inhibition can be it is it, it, it can be categorized into competitive inhibition, non-competitive inhibition, incompetitive inhibition, and also substrate inhibition. So let's have a look at the competitive uh, inhibition. So color you think of, um, the normal enzyme catalysis without inhibitor is this right? This one right? Um, but when it comes to competitive inhibitor, um, the inhibitor uh, directly um, combined with free enzymes. So competitive inhibition involves direct competition between substrate molecule and inhibitor molecule for the ex active site of the enzyme. So substrate need to this enzyme, this inhibitor also, uh, this inhibitor also reboot this free enzyme. So inhibitor in this um, in competitive inhibition, inhibitor binds to the same site on the enzymes as the substrate. So it only binds to the free enzyme. Alright, so by forming the EI complex over here, uh, the inhibitor reduces the amount of free enzyme. So we look at the model over here. So the constant uh, of inhibitor can be um, defined as concentration of enzyme times concentration of inhibitor divided by concentration of complex uh, enzyme inhibitor. And this uh, definition as well, the enzyme total concentration is enzyme concentration, enzyme free concentration, um, con the concentration of enzyme substrate and also concentration of enzyme inhibitor. So end up this is the model whereby you have to add the um, concentration of inhibitor over constant of EV, uh, inhibitor over here. 1 plus this one. Okay. So kalau kita plot yang ini terpaksa lah um, ambil kira 1 plus um, this one. Alright. Kalau tengok uh, dia punya plotting, um, the red line here, the first line is without inhibitor. So kalau tengok yang ini with inhibitor and when it increase, right, um, this is the slope. So the slope you can ambil kira um, yang ini lah. This is the increase factor. This is increase factor if the inhibitor concentration is um, increased. 
Okay, the slope tu pun you kena ambil kira yang ni 1 plus concentration of inhibitor over Ki. Okay, then um, ini dia punya intercept ni. Right. Kalau kita tengok non-competitive inhibition pula, kalau tadi competitive inhibition, it only binds to free enzyme. Tapi non-competitive inhibition, this inhibitor will bind um, both by the free enzyme and also the enzyme substrate complex. So, akan terbentuk uh, enzyme substrate um, sorry, enzyme inhibitor complex and also enzyme substrate inhibitor complex. Okay. So, you can differentiate between competitive and also non-competitive. So, let's have a look at the plot. Okay. So, this is the plot. This is the plot. Um, kalau secara Michaelis Manton, yeah, you have to add this 1 plus um, concentration of inhibitor over Ki. Uh, Vmax over 1 plus this one. Um, and there are subsequent concentration. So, kalau kita double reciprocal kan dia, so you akan dapat this kind of plot. Uh, so, you can compare kan dengan competitive eh. So, dia akan plus lagi dengan yang ini. Right? In terms of plot, you tengok yang ini adalah without inhibitor. So, this one is with non-competitive inhibitor dan dia akan um, bersilang di sini. Okay, so you have to bear in mind that this is the model for non-competitive inhibition. Okay, non-competitive inhibition mixed, um, which is the increase, uh, the concentration of inhibitor increasing. So again, you are going to the kind of bersilang di sini. So this is the model with inhibitor. You nampak KM tapi terpaksa, uh, di, terpaksa didarapkan dengan factor of inhibitor kat sini. So, substrate ni pun terpaksa didarapkan dengan um, factor of inhibitor. So, kalau kita uh, reciprocate kan dia, kita akan dapat uh, modified line river uh, equation of this one. Okay. Okay, kalau uncompetitive inhibition pula, um, this type of inhibitor only binds to the enzyme that um, already bind onto substrate. Okay, the inhibitor binds to uh, enzyme substrate complex but not free enzyme. And this type of inhibitor does not necessary to have to bind to the active sites. Dia akan bind aja, tak semestinya dekat active sites of that enzyme. And this inhibitor often does not resemble substrate in terms of structure. So, let's have a look at the model. So, kalau kita tengok dia punya model, uh, kalau based on the Michaelis Manton ya, dia cuma the inhibitor only uh, uh, fact, akan ditambahkan factor of concentration inhibitor hanya ditambahkan pada uh, substrate concentration dekat sini. Okay. Kalau di reciprocal kan um, this modified mechanism maintain, kita akan dapat the altered of line river book for uncompetitive inhibition in which that um, the factor of inhibitor concentration adalah di sini. Okay. Kalau kita plot kan uh, with increasing of inhibitor concentration, kita akan dapat uh, the parallel line. Bermakna dia tidak akan bersilang. Line line tersebut tidak akan bersilang. Okay. Okay, so the last one is the substrate inhibition. So, this situation happens if the substrate concentration is super high, sangat tinggi. So, bila ini terjadi, um, concentration of substrate itself, dia akan bind to the uh, enzyme substrate 
complex. So, dia akan membentuk enzyme substrate 2. Okay, so the model, for the model, um, kalau based on the mechanism maintained, dia akan be M divided by 1 plus substrate concentration over um, constant of substrate. And so this is another model for substrate uh, inhibition. So you will differentiate um, the difference of uh, in type of inhibition in terms of the KM and also Vmax. So, color that the inhibition, um, so this is the one. So, color competitive, the, uh, the KM has to factorize with this inhibition concentration and also the inhibition con constant. If it is mixed, um, you can divide you can directkan KM ni both atas bawah so as well the Vmax for non-competitive um, KM is just it is but Vmax you have to divide by the concentration um, of inhibition and also the constant for the uncompetitive both KM and Vmax you have to divide by the factor of uh, inhibition concentration Okay, so just differentiate using this slide. Thank you.